Hello quillers, today let us make a 3D flower vase with the technique of quilling. Welcome back, this is Agnes from Agnes Paper and Craft. Today's video is requested by one of the viewer and also a friend whom I know in person. This is a vase that I made in 2020 as a gift for my niece. Today let me show you the process of making it. This will be the color palette for today. And the supplies needed are quilling papers, glue, quilling slaughter tool, circle sizer, quilling water buddy, the circular shape one, and some stuffs that help in glue application. I adhered two strips of each color the black gray and neon orange whereas the coral shade will be in the top part so i will need only one strip of it for the base i made a tight coil using two strips of black using my slotted tool next i check the right size of the tight coil using the circle scale in this case, the coil passes right through the 12 number circle, so I choose the next small size 11. I then check the size with the circle shape border body. I have numbered the circles in the border body for easy use. So here I have got number 3 circle. Using this third size, I make tight ring with all the other color strips. So that we make three different parts for the body part of the vase. After making the base with black strips and the tight coil rings using the other three colors, we are going to mold it using our fingers. Gently push the coils to form a tapered shape. But be careful enough not to unwind the ring shape. Make these tapered shape on all the three colors. The pot like shape will be made using the grey and neon colors. Though I have used the same number of coils to make the ring shapes, we can see a difference in the size. This will happen when the papers are of different thickness. To compensate the difference, I am going to add few more paper strips of the same color so that the outer size of both the rings made from grey and neon orange colors match perfectly. Once I feel satisfied with the size, I will mold it again with my fingers to make the tapered shape. Then I apply glue in the insides of the molded shapes to fix them. Once dried, I join all the parts to make the flower vase. Meanwhile they dry, I'm going to make few grass-like leaves using 10 mm size green color strips. I make many of them so that the vase looks bushy, which I will be putting inside the vase later on. When the joints 
and the vase are completely dry, I apply glue to the outside, so they are sealed. Applying glue gives a shiny finish once dried. This also makes the quilling look like plastic. Some people like this effect and others don't. If you don't like, then you can use matte finish decoupage glue to varnish your finished piece. Hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to tag me when you give a try to this vase. Thanks for watching.